It's quite interesting down here. Technology meets culture and religion. But it's a good idea to have these moving escalators. Here she is, just up there. The national symbol of Mexico. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video which a lot of people have said I should do. I'm at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in the north part of Mexico City. And this is a really important area for Catholics in Mexico and for Catholics all around the world. I believe it's the most visited uh, Catholic site in the world and it's the third most visited sacred pilgrimage site in the world with millions and millions of visitors coming every year. And this area is also called La Villa and it's kind of separated into three different parts. So first of all, you have this church here. Looks old because it is. Um, this was the original basilica. But due to damage and size, they built a new basilica, which is just here, which was completed in 1976. And the third area is this, Tepeyac Hill. It plays a really important role in the whole history. It's directly behind the old basilica. And in this video, I'm going to take you inside the new basilica where we're going to see the famous Virgen de Guadalupe. And we'll go outside the old basilica, have a look there, and then we're going to climb up the hill to the very top. And millions of people come here every year and make a pilgrimage, often from very far. And just over there you can see a man crawling, which is very typical for the last part. Just above the main gate there, you can see some famous words. In English, it translates to, am I not here, I who am your mother. And why are these words so important? For those of you who don't know, it's because on Tepeyac Hill, behind the old basilica there, an indigenous man called Juan Diego had an apparition and it is said he met the Virgen de Guadalupe. And those are the words which she told him. And guys, we will go inside the Basilica to see the Virgen de Guadalupe. First, for the people who don't know, I just want to give you some more context. The story goes like this. Juan Diego, on one of his apparitions, he explained that his uncle was very ill. And that is when the Virgen de Guadalupe said those words. And she also told him to grab flowers from this particular hill and put them inside his cloak. And this little area here is depicting the scene. And as the story goes, is he took the flowers from the hill, put them inside the cloak, as the Virgen de Guadalupe told him to. And when he went to the archbishop to show some kind of proof that he had this apparition, the flowers dropped to the floor and inside his cloak was this image of the Virgen de Guadalupe. And it's this cloak here you can see depicted in this scene is what is inside the new basilica. We're just at the main entrance and as usual there is a service going on and someone also making a pilgrimage and in the distance there you can see the cloak, the tilma I believe in Spanish and you can walk inside and go under the actual cloak and take a look from below. It's quite interesting down here. Technology meets culture and religion, but it's a good idea to have these moving escalators because it's so busy, so people have to carry on moving. So let's get on. And here she is, just up there, the national symbol of Mexico. And this basilica is 100 meters high. And as you saw outside, in a circle shape, and it's in a circle so people in every position in the basilica can see. We're outside in front of the old basilica. And this original basilica was completed in 1709. 
and I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it kind of slants a little bit. And that's because Mexico City is sinking and has lots of earthquakes. So it suffered structural damage over the years. And we're just outside the garden I showed you before we entered the new basilica and the entrance to the hill, Tepeyac Hill. Anyway, let's climb this nice looking hill, nice stairs and get to the top. And there's a kind of thug life dog up there. He just does his own thing. Anyway, here is some water. I want some. Ah, and by the way, water is very important here because remember this hill used to be on the side of a lake. Mexico City was once one huge lake. And Tepeyac Hill has always been a sacred site. Long before Catholicism, people worshiped the Aztec earth goddess here. And the top is not here. One more up there. Check these out. These are souvenir shops. They have all kinds of bits and bobs here. Most of the things are the Virgen de Guadalupe, as you can see here. And in Mexico, John Paul is very, very popular. Just around the corner from Pope John Paul is the top of Tepeyac Hill with church on top. This is called the Cerrito, the Tepeyac. So let's make it to the top. Did it. And I've got something to show you. Isn't it nice? This is a little souvenir. And you can see the Virgin there in the middle. And this is for a car. And you see a lot of taxi drivers with this kind of thing. And on the back here, you can see it says Oracion del Chauffeur, the chauffeur, which makes sense. And a message about driving safe. And one reason I bought this is because look at the color, a kind of true Mexico green. And green really is the colour. Very, very pretty. Look at these beautiful gardens. Great place to visit. Okay guys, well I'm going to get myself out of here now. If you like the video, thumbs up, helps the channel spread. And if you have anything to add, please write in the comments. I'm no expert about Basilica and I learn a lot from you. And if this is your first time watching True Mexico, please do subscribe. It'd be great to have you in the community. So I'm Paul, this is True Mexico, hasta luego.